particularly in the last 2018 election, the BGB Nagaland had its uh, top priority manifesto, which says that election for solution. But since they have failed, the people of Nagaland, they have taken this decision that it is no more relevant. It is no more necessary that they should be in the BGB when they are not able to fulfill the most important uh, promise that they have made to the people of Nagaland. They have decided to join JDU because of the reason that I would like to thank Almighty God for this uh, wonderful day. And I would also like to express my gratitude to the press fraternity for availing your time to come to this uh, press conference, for giving us an opportunity to convey to the people of Nagaland the recent development that has taken place within the JDU. On this uh, auspicious uh, occasion, as we conduct this press conference, I would like to welcome three <clears throat> former BGB unit presidents who have uh, taken a very positive, very uh, well thought decision to leave the BGB and join JDU with the hope that JDU will bring change in the state of Nagaland. <clears throat> I would, uh, first of all, I would like to <clears throat> have uh, an introduction for your uh, consumption and for the interests of uh, people out here. I am the state president, Senchumo NSN Lota. I would like to, <clears throat> from that side, I would like to introduce our general secretary, Kito Rotoka, our <clears throat> state secretary, Hatpa Wang, our newly joined uh, uh, former district president uh, of uh, Koima, uh, Sikreli Nagi, and uh, our former uh, district president of Berend, uh, Tingsangai Bamai, and our former president of PGP Wuka unit, Yantungo Kigon, and our state general secretary, M. Sumungba Bongen. Well, <clears throat> as per the public statement that has been given and that has been handed over to you, our three former district presidents of PGP have they have taken this uh, constructive decision because of uh, reasons which they have already appended with their signature. Number one, since they have lost faith in the leadership of the BGB Nagaland, particularly in the last 2018 election, the BGB Nagaland had its uh, top priority manifesto, which says that election for solution. But since they have failed the people of Nagaland, they have taken this decision that it is no more relevant. It is no more necessary that they should be in the BGB when they are not able to fulfill the most important uh, promise that they have made to the people of Nagaland. And secondly, they have decided to join JDU because of the reason that under the supreme leadership of Sri Nitish Kumar, Honorable Chief Minister of Bihar, and under the dynamic national presidentship of uh, JDU, Sri Rajiv Ranjan Singh, since the JDU has taken a stand, especially during the October 11 visit of uh, Sri Nitish Kumar in Timapur, he has declared that 
they will, the GDU will sincerely, very actively support for a peaceful solution to the Vex Naga problem. And Sri Nitish Kumarji himself has said that I will not only support verbally, but I will try to throw the active support of other political parties and rally with them so that the long pending problem of the Nagas vis-a-vis -vis political movement will be brought to a, an honorable end. So because of these reasons, they have decided to join JDU after resigning from PGP. This is the main reason for which we have called this press conference. I would like uh, uh, either the press to ask question or I would like uh, our colleagues and all to make supplementation. I'm very opti optimistic to be here in this press conference. At the very <coughs> outset, I'm thankful to God for this beautiful time. And media person, Honorable JDU State President, General Secretary and his colleagues, and my colleagues, two former BJP president. We would like to express our, our gratitude to the Honorable JDU President for wi willingly accepting our uh, joining to the JDU Party 4. I hope under his leadership, JDU President Anderson Lotha will work for the welfare of the people of Nagaland and the party will fight for the development and the party will fight for corruption-free government. Thank you. Question. Uh, whatever reason we have given, uh, we have written, uh, we've given it to you. And I would just like to say one thing, that the present leadership in the PGP, we feel that it's going nowhere. And we have a high hope in the GTV leadership, both at the national level and state level. And we feel that if we want to work for the welfare of our state and for the welfare of the youth, we, uh, it's the best platform would be the GDV. And that's why we're joining, uh, joining the GDV. Thank you. Uh, does the resignation also include the rank and file of the district units, or is it only the three individuals who are there? As of today, though, only three of us. Yes. But in the future, there might be a lot of shifting from both uh, state level and district level. Whatever the government I've uh, mentioned in my designation later. So other than that, I have no problem. Thank you for the time. And uh, as you have uh, about the solution. But uh, before that, I just want to say a few words uh, about the party. As we all uh, experience uh, and uh, we have faced that uh, during the Congress regime also, we have uh, seen how the Congress has ruled in Nagaland. And after that, NPF. And after that, NDPP and the BGP aligned government. And we have seen so many things. But uh, and, uh, the motto of the NDPP is that a change is coming. But nothing has come. We have not seen anything. And even in BGP also, in, in our own party, we have uh, experienced so many things. But uh, nothing has uh, come up. So because of that, uh, we have decided that, that and we have seen that this party will do nothing and uh, we have to bring another new party to rule in Nagaland so that uh, change, the real change to, uh, may happen in our land. So because of that uh, we are joining JDU and our sir is here. I know him uh, before and he was a student leader uh, before and he was a good leader and a young and dynamic leader. So we want to work under him and uh, as a uh, he has uh, earlier, he has mentioned that uh, the Chief Minister of uh, Bihar, Netish, Netish is our president and he is also a very good leader. 
we have uh, heard about him also. And uh, see, as uh, you have said that, that uh, about the different of the solution. So on that uh, matter too, we have seen that uh, if the new government c come and uh, take up the government and uh, we, we can uh, proceed to other pro way. Otherwise, uh, <coughs> solution is coming, solution is coming. Many times uh, it's happened like that, but nothing uh, it's come out. So we thought that uh, we will join to the, this uh, new party and uh, will bring a new, uh, new things and uh, new changes uh, to our people. Well, first of all, uh, uh, let me also remind you that uh, JDU is such a party where we have uh, our, our outlook is national, but our functioning is regional. So what the state unit of JDU, Nagaland, decides is always the decision of the JDU at the center. In this aspect, we have taken a very clear stand as far as the approach to Naga political problem is concerned. Our stand is that government of India has recognized that Naga problem, Naga history, Naga issue is a unique one. Therefore, we stand by the fact that if it is unique, solution also should be unique. And we cannot be equal with other uh, movements that are taking place in different parts of the country. Since it has been officially accepted that Naga issue is unique, solution should be unique. And in that respect, the flag and constitution must be addressed. Until and unless the issue of the flag and constitution is addressed, there is no solution at all. That is the stand, and this stand is well accepted by the JDU at the national level, for which Nitish Kumar has made it very clear that they will support the cause. And for your information, the GDU, even nationally, we are against the abrogation of Article 370. And I think Article 370 is well known to all of you. So that speaks itself where our party stands. Have the JDU said you did uh, make any contacts with any of the Naga political groups? Yes. We have met them and we keep on meeting them. And uh, for the reminder of, of everyone, we practice what we put in a manifesto. Naga political issue is also a part of our manifesto uh, since 2018. We haven't been given an opportunity to practice that, but in our own aspect, the GTU is the first ever political party from Nagaland to stage a dharna in Delhi for an early solution. And that also included our erstwhile minister, Mr. Kaito, who was also a part of the dharna. So with what little given opportunity we got, we did. And that is what we can prove it, that we stand by what we manifest. Or lastly, uh, in regards to next year's election, state election, have you drawn any sort of uh, plan towards like, what the party will take? <coughs> well, election is yet to be announced. Once election is announced, we will also come out with our own strategy. Mm -hmm. And we are very hopeful that this time we will be able to score much better than what we did in 2018. I think that's all. It may be, it may be one of the shortest press conference, <laughs> but I consider it is it's one of the most significant. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers. Switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital.
For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.